Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And I've finally done it. I'm so excited now to finally have my very own website. I've spent a lot of hours over the last month or so actually, every single day working on building the content and building more content. And I actually went through a number of iterations as well as I evolved, which added more time. But I'm really, really happy now with the final result that I've managed to put together for my website. So my website is my name, darrenjspoonley.com. And that's a way that I'm actually happy with my name because I didn't like it when I was a kid, you know, Spoonley, who's Spoonley, how many different names was I called? But now that I'm older, it's a lot better actually because it's much easier now for me to be able to be found online. So to find my website, all you'll hopefully have to do is just search my name. So with that in mind, what I want to do is to give you a very quick overview of what have I created, why have I created, and how can it benefit you? So my concept for my site was to make sure that it was a photography resource. As I said in the video, when I announced that I was creating my website, I didn't want it to be just a, hi, my name is Darren, here's some photos, contact me. I wanted it to be that, yes, of course, because that's a traditional site, but I wanted it to be something that other photographers as well would really enjoy or benefit or get something from and have a reason to come look at my website. So with that in mind, I said, okay, I'm going to create a photography resource. And I've created a number of different items so far so that I could launch the website with at least some content. And I'll give you a look at some of those things that I've created next. So when you come into my website, you'll be greeted by a moving image of a waterfall actually that's in Cork. It's the largest waterfall I believe in the, in the British Isles and it's called the Mayor's Tail. And it was a bit of footage actually that I recorded with my drone I went to the very, very top and that's it panning all the way down. After that, you'll see some of my photos and you can then go straight in to look at my seascape gallery because you know, I'm a seascape photographer at heart. But we'll move on from that next. Now, something new that I've always wanted to do, but never really had the opportunity to do it, is to educate and use the knowledge that I have to help others progress in their photography journey. And like I would have alluded to before, I had a number of people asking me, did I do workshops? And I never did workshops because I didn't have the time. Well, now I've created the time and I've also now got this on my website. So from there, you can go straight into the tutorials, but I'll get to those in a moment. After this, of course, my own YouTube channel, where you'll be able to see the latest video that I've produced. Instead of having to go to YouTube, you can look at it straight away from here, watch it on the website, or you can go into YouTube and indulge in the mul multitude of videos that I've created. And after that, of course, it's my podcast. Now, the podcast has been something that I've been really passionate about, and now I've got an opportunity and a place for it to be living within my own ecosystem. You can listen to my latest episode there, or again, you can click in and you can listen to the entire back catalogue that's been created. And finally, a bit about me and if you want to connect and contact me. So that's my homepage. I think the really, really nice look and feel to it. Like I said, I was really impressed with the templates that Squarespace had to offer. And then on along the top, what I have now is my navigation bar. And my navigation bar to me was something that I wanted to be really, really conscious of. I wanted it to be as minimal as possible, but obviously to be as jam packed as it could possibly be as well. So moving along to there, one of the first things that you'll see obviously after home is media and resources. Now media and resources should be exactly what it says on the tin. It should be media and it should be a resource. And for me, I wanted to make sure, like I said, that I was able to tell my story about photography and to give people an insight into the backstory that comes with every single image or adventure that I might go on. So with that in mind, I've created my blogs. Now I've got a lot of detail up there in relation to all the trips I would have done since May of last year. And I'm going to be adding to that on a weekly basis. Right here, you can get a link straight to my YouTube channel. And then next after that, you can get a link directly into all of the podcasts. So you've got everything now, like I said, in one simple 
resource. And then the final thing on that is my digital downloads. And my digital downloads, I'm really, really excited about. And actually, you know, I've had a long running conversation with Photo Tripper, Gavin Hardcastle. And I've always said, you know, when he comes to Ireland, I'll have a list for him. So now I've got a list. Do you know what I'll do? I'll actually give him a call and I'll let him know that I've got that list. Okay, no answer from Gavin. I'll try him again later because I'd be really excited actually to hear what he has to think about my new location guides. But I'll come to those again in due course. Now, next along the navigation bar is something that's new to me, which is tuition. And like I would have said, I didn't want really to be doing group workshops. So I'm really excited now to announce two one-to-one -one workshops. They're going to be a mixture of a half a day or a full day. And the half a day one is going to be here close in Cork. I've picked Rocky Bay. It's a phenomenal location. And it's somewhere I think that everybody should visit at least once because you're always guaranteed to get some great shots. The advantage as well that you have a Rocky Bay is that with the tide, you can end up with a completely different beach the following day. So it's always going to be a lucky dip to see what you can get. Add into that some beautiful skies, some great wave action, and you're guaranteed some great shots. So if you'd love to come on a workshop with me, or a one-to-one -one tuition rather, get in touch on the website and we can work out some dates. And then the next one that I want to do is a full day workshop. Now that's going to be starting before dawn and ending after dusk. And what you get is me, and me only focused on you to improve your photography. The location I picked for this is a place that, no surprise, is close to my heart, is the Dingle Peninsula. And it's a phenomenal location in such a small footprint. And you're guaranteed to get a mixture and a variety of shots on the day. If you'd like to come along on that one-to-one -one workshop with me, then get in touch and we can arrange some dates. Now, I said I wanted to do one-to-one -one tutorials, but also something that really came to mind is myself and my good buddy, Dermot O'Donovan, my wingman in photography, have decided to team up and to do a group tuition. Now, the reason for that is because if there's more than four people, you don't really get good attention. But with myself and Dermot, what you'll get is both of us. You'll get access to both of our knowledge, both of our minds, and both of our views to help you to improve in your photography. Now, what location did we pick for this? Of course, we picked Dermid's favorite playground, which is County Clare. And this again is going to be a immersive tuition or workshop day. If you're interested in attending that, there's limited to eight people. So please get in touch through the booking form on the website and then we'll get back in touch with you for when the available dates are. Now I've been asked a number of times as well to talk at camera clubs and it's not something that I was really, really interested in doing. However, I did one with Ennis Camera Club and it was absolutely phenomenal. And since then, I've had a number of requests as well to do a talk for camera clubs. So I said, you know what? I might as well put that up there. If you're in a camera club and you want me to speak about my photography, there's a special page here on my website. You can click on the get in touch and that'll send me a message directly about that topic. Now I edit many, many images and it's something that really fascinates me about editing is that you create your own bias and you create your own style. I actually made a video about this exact topic around a year and a half ago where I sent my image to a number of people and asked them to edit the raw. And what everybody came back with was a completely different image. So with that in mind, I said, you know what? I'm going to offer something here again because I want to be able to help people on their journey from a one-to-one, -one, so it's a virtual editing session. So if you've got an image that you're not quite sure of or you don't know how to deal with or there's something within it that's really troubling you or you just want to get a different viewpoint within that image, or a number of images, you can book a virtual editing session with me. And you can click on that link and it's going to then allow me to be able to get a message directly from you. And then we can get in touch and we can arrange that. And the final part in that is my digital downloads. And the digital downloads, again, speaking of the location guides, let me try Gavin there now again one more time. Oh, seems he doesn't want to answer me. Okay, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to try him one last time before the end of this video because I'd be really excited actually to hear his thoughts on what I've created for my location guide. So we'll get to those when we get to that point. Now, the next thing on the website is the typical, the galleries. So I've created three galleries for viewing of my favorite images or selection of my favorite images. And I've broken that down into 
seascapes, into landscapes and in woodland. And each of those will give you a really, really rich media format for looking at my images and be able to kind of ignite your taste buds for what's possible, not only in Ireland, but also internationally. And it's something that I'm proud to be able to have a showcase now of my images in high quality because the advantage that I have now is that I'm not reliant on Facebook or Instagram compressing the absolute out of my images. Here you'll be able to view the images in all their glory. And there's also a link as well to each of them. So what I did was when you finish one, you can go look at the next, look at the next, and it's a perpetual circle. Now the next part then obviously is about me. So I wanted to give a bit of a background to somebody who hadn't known who I was. If you come across my website just by random, um, you'll be able to learn a bit more about me and what makes me me and what ignites my passion for photography. And then within that as well is a let's connect. So I really, really enjoy getting to know everybody that's involved in the photography community. And if you've got an idea for yourself or an idea for me, maybe you can help me in my own journey, then use this form and let's connect. And now finally into the engine house of my website. Of course, you know, it's going to be a commerce website. I want to try and earn some money in relation to my own photography, but I don't want to take the absolute piss out of it as well. So I wanted to put things there that could be beneficial to others, that could help others and also help me. So within that, I've broken it down into a number of different topics. Number one is my print store. And I have now picked images, which I think would look absolutely fantastic at anybody's wall. These images are from many, many locations around Ireland and internationally. And now with the website, I can give you a look at those images and you can also then as well see what it could potentially look like on your wall. Now, the offerings at the moment is going to be A4 and A3 prints, which I will print here and I will sign and send to whoever purchases them. And I've also got an option there as well for framing. Now, framing obviously is going to be more expensive. It's also going to be uh, more expensive to ship. But if you'd like one of my images and have it framed and sent directly to you, then of course, this is where you get the opportunity to look at that. I'm really excited now to share with everybody the types of images that I've picked. And also, if you find any images that aren't in my store and you'd like to get one printed, then of course, you can get in touch. And now, finally, my location guides. And my location guides are something I have been really, really passionate about. I have put a huge amount of work into each and every one of these. Now, an ordinary mortal might decide that they're going to create one book but I decided I was going to create three. Now, as I was doing them, I kind of tweaked and I learned a couple of things as well along the way, which meant not only did I change that, but I also had to change all three. So in a way, it kind of added to my workload, but what I am actually ended up with is something that I think is absolutely phenomenal, if I do say so myself. The look of it, the concept behind it, the thought process that I put into it, the ease of use, the benefits that people can get from them, I think are going to be really, really good. Now, when I started off the concept and doing those location guides, I had an idea of maybe a five page, very, very quick location guide. But as I was doing them, I wanted to put more information in and that quickly evolved to a 10 page location guide. And now what I've ended up with is a 20 page location guide. So with that in mind, I think there's great value within that. And what I've decided to do is to put them up for a very nominal price of $9.99. Now what that's going to give you is your own digital copy. You'll be able to immediately download it. And within that as well, you will then be able to look at the maps directly for these locations. You can click on the location. It's going to open up Google Maps or whatever map app you're using on your phone. It's going to show you where it is and then you can click directions and you can get to that next spot. For me, I think that's going to be really, really valuable. Additionally, what I decided to do on that is if I've ever visited one of these locations and I've made a video there, you can also watch the video just purely by clicking on the link that's within each of the guides. It's going to be really, really exciting for me to be able to share these with the world. I have done three, so I've got Bera done, I've got Dingle done, and I've got the Copper Coast as well done. I'm still working on one more, which is Killarney. And if you're interested in the Killarney, I've actually set up a pre-order page, and then you can express your interest in relation to that. That will be released during March, I hope. Um, there's gonna be a lot of work in that. It's probably gonna be bigger as well than the other three guides. So I'm gonna be hitting more than 20 pages because of the amount of locations that are on offer. But that's something I'm really, really excited then as well to launch later in March. Now, if you're also interested in more than one, what I've decided to do is combo deals. So if you buy two, you save 
If you buy three, you save 20%. So I've got a combo deal for each, and then I've also got the triple deal, the triple combo deal, where you're about to save 20% by purchasing all three. So let me now ring Gavin and see if I can convince him to take one of my landscape location guides. Hello? Hey Gavin, it's Darren. How's it going, man? Who is this? Darren. Karen? Darren J. Spoonley from Ireland. You know me, man. Who? Do you not remember me? Who? Darren. Who? You, you spent two hours on my podcast talking about your book. Do you remember me now? No, I've seriously no idea who this is. Oh my goodness, man. At all. Okay, listen, around two years ago, can you remember back that far? No, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't remember that. What, was I drunk? You must definitely have been if you can't remember our conversation. Oh, right, well, um, did, I, did I get paid? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely, 100%, yeah, we paid you, yeah, 100%. Oh, right, that's, that's good, yeah. So what can I do for you, David? Darren, not David. I was wondering, could you do me a favor, man, right? I'm after spending a huge amount of time building up these fantastic photography location guides. And I was really hopeful that you being my buddy would give me some feedback on them and perhaps maybe give them a mention on your channel. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Uh, how much are you uh, How much are you paying for this gig? Paying? I thought it was gonna be a freebie, mate. <laughs> a freebie? <laughs> Daniel, I'm sure that your landscape photography guides of Ireland are really good and that you've, you've probably worked very hard on them, but uh, that don't pay the rent, does it? You know, I've gotta make ends meet. Oh my god. Oh, okay, I have a small budget. I've got $10. How about that? US dollars? No, Canadian dollars. You're living in Canada, man. Oh, Canadian? I can't do anything with that, Derek. Darren, nothing? That's a lot of money. Look, I'll tell you what I can do for you, dear mid. Uh, there is a YouTuber that I can give you the name of who will do anything, and I mean absolutely anything, for $10. Who is he? Adam Gibbs. Adam Gibbs? Uncle Grumpy? Like I said, anything. Goodbye, Donald. Donald? <laughs> well, that didn't really go as planned. Okay, well, you know what, Gavin? Uh, I think what I will do is I'm going to send you something from my website here, which is actually the last piece that I want to talk about is a gift voucher that you can utilize on my website. You can utilize that on anything. You can have on prints, you can buy some of my location guides, or you can even use it for a one-to-one -one tuition. When you come to Ireland, I'll teach you how to take photos. I'm really, really excited for me to have this now finally go live. As I said, I put a lot of work within that, and I'm going to be constantly, constantly updating it. How can you get the updates? Well, within this now, you can click, you can join my email newsletter, and as a welcome gift, I'm going to give my light version of my guide absolutely free. So all you gotta do is enter your email address, and then you receive an email from me with a code that you can go in and you can download the light version absolutely free. I think it's really, really gonna be good. It's going to ignite, I think, your taste buds in regards to what's in store for my other location guides, but I'd love for you to be able to jump on board, help me and my channel, and purchase one of my location guides. So, that's it, that's my news. I'm really, really excited. I think you can get that. I've said that around 20 times already during this, but I am really, really excited. You can check out my website on darrenjspoonley.com. And I'm really looking forward now to building even more so my community about photography. So if it's your first time on my channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment. And until the next time, when I'm back in the field creating more content, Schlange Fall. Hello! Hey Adam, how's it going buddy? Oh, Darren, Darren, how's it going? Come here, a little birdie tells me you'll do anything for five dollars. Five dollars? Yeah, I'll do it.